Good morning, guys. Jen here. I wanted to let you know I'll be doing a live this morning around or about 9 o'clock, maybe a little before, so if you're interested, watch for it. It's going to be about what do Max Spears and Christ have in common. It's very strange, uh, <laughs> so some of you might enjoy it. The next thing uh, right now is there's an update regarding the coronation. I never thought I'd cover such a topic, but here I am. I've always enjoyed the women, of course, Princess Di, Kate Middleton, even Meghan Markle. People say things about her. I don't know much about her. But I do know that it seems to me that families around me are emulating that group. As I said, it was even on a Facebook post, inspired by royalty, whatever that means. I don't know if these people are knowingly doing this or if it's some type of um, hive mind thing. But it's definitely happening. Um, just look at all the people who have dyed their hair red and the mixed couples that you're seeing. And I'm not talking about love. I'm talking about things that are done purposely in this realm. Now, if you watch the Brie and Chen channel, you know that it was one of the very first channels to cover retro causality or the manner of doing things in reverse why would people in the physical do things in reverse well because things begin in the spiritual so if you want to affect something spiritually um in this realm you would do it backwards as above so below but we are a reflection of what is above um so things down here are inverted by nature um, it's when we take that and switch it even more and twist it even more that everything gets confused. And we're also ignoring uh, the feminine aspect of life, uh, those who bring life into this world. And that's also why you're seeing a great demarcation as far as um, what is a woman and all that type of stuff goes. And I also believe that question does have a lot to do with this family. I'm not going to get into it now. But um, if you look at the couples, you can tell, I, I can tell, that not all of them um, are biological, uh, the biological gender that they're claiming. And I'm going to stop that right there. <laughs> you can do with that as you will. Um, things I'm sharing here are per the Fair Use Act of 1976. This is all public information gathered from Google. So, um the opinions reflected here don't necessarily reflect those of YouTube or Google, but they are news items. Why do I want to talk about this? Because there was a man arrested outside of Buckingham Palace. Now, the wording they use, once again, is strange. Um, I will let you look at it and make of it what you will. But um, basically, he was arrested for throwing shotgun shells into uh, the palace. They arrested him found a suspicious bag on him and an possible offensive weapon. Well, what would be offensive? I'm honestly wondering if it isn't a rosary with as many people who are saying that those are like radical quote unquote weapons nowadays. They could be seen that way, but spiritually speaking, you don't actually harm anyone with them. You use them to say prayers, much like prayer beads that Buddhists and Jewish people also uh, make use of. So again, it's nothing new or different. It's just a way to express one's faith. That's just my opinion. So now I'll show you what's actually being said. And again, I think things are being done in reverse. Why? I'll show you that in a moment. So a man was arrested outside of Buckingham Palace after throwing the suspected shotgun cart cartridges into palace grounds. Now, I've looked at all of the links um, at this point. It, they all word it like that. They all say suspected shotgun cartridges. Why they don't know, why they're not claim or why they're not confirming this or verifying this, I do not know. Um, the man was arrested on suspicion of possession of an offensive weapon. There are no reports of any injuries. The incident is not being treated as terror related. Another link did say that it was being treated as a mental illness issue. Um, again, that's why I'm wondering if this person wasn't a Christian and they weren't saying their rosary or something out there. Um, when told, okay, speaking on Wednesday, Deputy Assistant Commissioner Aide 
Adokan, okay, that's a weird name, that's not made up, said the man approached police asking to see a soldier, but when told that was not possible, allegedly began throwing shotgun cartridges over the palace gates. Now this is where we get weird. While being arrested, the man told officers they should handle his rucksack with care, leading to a controlled explosion being carried out on the bag. So they didn't even look at it, they just blew it up. Um, not sure why they would do that. He asked them to handle it with care, so what was in there? Very strange indeed, but they're not saying exactly what this was or what happened. So now I'm going to show you something else because this made me think of this. And again, I see people emulating very specific people in this family, but our, it is the younger couple that people are emulating. It is not the one who's going to be court. Uh, coronated, <laughs> the one who is going to have his coronation. Um, so let's look at this. I just heard of this two days ago and I'm reporting on it now. However, they're still saying they don't know. Um, so it was a dress rehearsal uh, where that man allegedly threw what was allegedly called shotgun shells into the palace. Now we have here Let me see. I had heard this, but I hadn't seen it myself. Now here it says, Prince Harry will sit 10 rows back at King Charles' coronation, expert claims. Number one, much like with the President of the United States when a certain event happened um, on a certain day, it's not customary for them to let you know where people of importance or high caliber people assets, high caliber assets as they call them, um, it's not of the norm for them to give you an itinerary of where they will be and when they will be there, okay? So I found it odd that it said 10 rows back. Why 10 rows back? Meghan Markle will also not be there. It is their son's birthday and Link said that she didn't want to overshadow the coronation, which Again, I find odd because I thought she looked very strange in the interview with Oprah Winfrey and then suddenly she was pregnant again when we hadn't heard anything about it um, and then she gave birth within like a month of people finding out. With all the um, orphan trains and you can put that together again as you will, I, I really wonder about what's happening here um, because as we know, a lot of these L Eats cannot have um, children for a variety of reasons. But, um, again, I'm just speculating and that's what certain people do, but I was putting all this together with the guy in the, the, um, that got arrested there. And then with Harry sitting 10 rows back, is this some type of retro causality, some type of reverse order spell work, uh, to put it loosely in layman's terms, not as pretty as they would word it, but, uh, I'm wondering if that's what's going on. And oftentimes lately, whatever they have in the little um, quotations is usually biblical or epic lately. They've been using some very strange uh, verbology here <laughs> in a lot of these links that they've had over the past two years since CV began. And I think personally that's when the um, matriarch passed away. And of course, they took time as a family to plan things out. Um, but you could see a, a noticeable change in the world. Um, it's almost as if she was kind of holding things back from being rolled out. Um, now it says concerned about seating and expected to attend and, um, some more that I saw said that Harry is quote unquote still in the dark. So I thought that was odd wording as well. Let me see if that one will show up here. Prince Harry won't sit with the royal family. Well, why not? What's going to happen that he won't be with them? I would be willing to bet that something will occur. The Bible says, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. So what does that mean? There it is. Prince Harry still in the dark. Still has not been told where he'll be sitting. Okay. I just found that still in the dark, very telling, very telling. 
So, if you're in the mood, watch for it. And watch for the um, live that will be in about an hour, an hour and a half from the time this is uploaded. Stay vigilant. Pray, if you're the praying type, pray that all of our leaders are doing what is best uh, for people at this point in time. Pray against wicked and dark princi uh, principalities and powers that are above us, meaning they are kind of uh, operating this as a, as a chess game. Is that what's happening? Are people just taken over by whatever is in control of, of them at this point? How does this happen? Uh, do people knowingly sign up for it? Is it where their allegiance lies? Um, or is it more than or less than that? What are your thoughts? Talk to you soon. Bye.